Okay, so um, what we've done is we've made our menu, and we just kind of need to make a game, you know? So what we're going to do in this um, session is we're going to make um, like a timer, like a countdown timer, okay? So we're going to give the player um, a specified amount of time to complete um, an objective, okay? <clears throat> so we're just, you know, putting in some fairly simple game mechanics but you could make uh, a game out of, you know, it could be as as big or as small as you kind of wanted it to be. But what I'll do is I'll show you the, the mechanics and then you can kind of um, customize it and uh, make it into what you want to make it into. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is add on this countdown timer. OK, um, to give a bit of challenge to the game. So in order to do that, we'll get started. We're still going to be in our blueprints folder, okay? We're going to end up with quite a few blueprints in the end. So again, making sure that we're naming everything properly. So we're going to create a new blueprint straight away, um, and um, blueprint class, sorry. And uh, we want to it wouldn't do another HUD because the actual countdown timer needs to be a HUD, a, a, an overlay on this screen um, with the timer on it. So that's the first thing we want. So here it is, and we are going to call it um, timer HUD. Makes sense, doesn't it? All right. So we're going to open that up. Um, and again, like before, we don't need to do anything in the viewport. We can go straight to event graph um, and get rid of this. Okay. It's going to compile that. It's going to close it down for now. Uh, and go over to my main menu HUD. So if you remember this, this is what we used before, and we're actually going to use the exact same uh, thing. So if I actually just hold Control and click all of those to select them all, what I can do is Control C to copy them. Close that down. Come to my timer HUD. Again, it's open to here. Don't worry. If, if this happens to you, remember you can just click the full one here. Um, and control V. So the blueprint is in there straight away, but remember then all we need to do is change it to using a different widget. Put in none for now, but we haven't made up that widget yet. Um, <clears throat> so we can't quite do that. So we'll just save it for now. Compile, save. We've got an error, but we know why. We're going to fix that now. So close that down. So we've got our timer hard, like we did with our main menu. So again, with our main menu, we had a main menu widget, main menu widget. So we're going to do the same here. So user interface, widget blueprint, and then we're going to call it timer widget. <clears throat> okay, so we've got that. So we can just quickly go back into our timer HUD um, and just change the class to the timer widget. So that's the widget that is going to display on the viewport. Okay, so we compile that now. Nice, no errors. Save and close. Okay, so um, we probably want to be in our actual level one now. Save that because we need to just adjust the world settings so it's actually going to display the timer HUD when we're playing the game in level one. So if you remember before, um, we change this to the third person game mode as the override for the game mode um, and we put the HUD class as none but now we actually do have a HUD that we want to use and it's going to be the timer HUD okay so again if you had like multiple levels you might want to have different um, game mode overrides to show different HUDs on different levels um, or something along those lines but at the moment we're just going to have the same HUD for, for everything really <laughs> So yeah, timer HUD's in there, um, and now what we need to do um, is actually make our HUD. So we're going to go into the timer widget, okay, you remember this from making our menu. Uh, <clears throat> in this case we don't want um, a background like we had before, because it's just uh, going to be an overlay. So really we just need um, what will be uh, text blocks. but I'm going to put it in the horizontal box this time um, to kind of hold it together. 
like we did the vertical one last time. This time we're going to use the horizontal one because we want these two text blocks to be next to each other, which is going to be like um, time and then uh, the actual count, what the actual countdown timer is. Um, we might want three text blocks actually, one for that says time, one for the minutes, and one for the seconds. So come back up here, bring in our text boxes. They so drop one in. It'll just say text block, zoom in on it. Bring in another one. So it says text block. And a third one, text block. So you can see that it's kind of a bit, we need to extend that a bit. Okay, so obviously we can come in and we will come in and customize these um, a bit later. The first one, these can be left, of just, left as just saying text block because they're going to be the times which are going to be what's written there will be affected by the blueprints that we're going to make. So the first one isn't going to have a blueprint to it, it's just going to say what we want it to say. So um, you can say time remaining probably makes sense. Um, and again, it's, it means we need to just extend that a bit. Okay, and that's probably going to need a colon. Lovely. All right, so <clears throat> as always, make sure you name things. Um, so um, timer box. Um, that's just we can call it what it says. So time remaining. This one is going to be for minutes, and then the last one is going to be for seconds. Um, super important, by the way, that you name them the seconds and the minutes ones, especially because we're going to be referring to those um, in the blueprints in a, in a bit. Um, so if they're not named right, the blueprints won't know what these are uh, and it won't work. So always make sure you're naming things right. So that'll do for now. Compile and save. And let's close that down. Um, if we play that, um, you can see we've got this HUD there already. It just says time remaining, text block, text block. Obviously the text block, text block will actually be minutes and seconds when we set that up. Okay, but the HUD is working. It looks a bit rubbish. <laughs> we can make it look a bit better soon, but we're just getting the functionality first. All right, so just leave it there for now. Um, and we'll move on to the next bit in the next video.